All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be making a rainbow with powder gold at the end. And it should be a little twirler that we can hang up in our, in our room. So let's get going. All right, so for this lesson in particular, what you're gonna need is a glue stick, just like <laughs> this one right here. Uh, you're also gonna need a pair of scissors and obviously some coloring supplies and paper. So let's get started. So in order to do this, you will have to understand what it's gonna be. Uh, what it's gonna be is it's gonna be um, a pot of gold at the very end. So we need to draw that. And then it's gonna be a, a kind of like a twirling type of circle that we cut out in a spiral. And when we hang it up, it should look uh, fairly neat. Uh, and it should be really cool. We've done this project before, I believe, I'm not quite sure, uh, with a snake. And then we cut out the snake with patterns and it looks really cool. Uh, so it's very similar to that, but uh, a little bit different, and it should look cool. I'm going to try to hang it up here, but um, uh, I'm not saying that you guys have to, but it should be a really cool thing that you guys can uh, play around with. So let's get started. So first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to draw uh, the pot of gold and a nice big circle somewhere. So over here I have my sketchbook. I'm going to be ripping this page out later. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do some pencil just in case I mess up. So give me one sec. Right, here's my circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think I should go this big. That's pretty large, almost the size of the plate here. Um, and then I'm gonna do a pot of gold. So the pot of gold is very simple. All you're gonna do is kind of like a long rounded cylinder shape like that. Draw two parentheses on both sides. So one here, one here. If you do wanna curve the bottom, you can. I'm just gonna curve it very slightly, just like this. And then this is gonna be all black later, but uh, I might as well add a little bit of a couple bumps here to symbolize uh, that this pot of gold is full. So I'm gonna go back and forth until I think it should be enough. So you can go as high as you want, as much as you want, doesn't matter to me. There we go. If you do wanna draw something on the pot so it's not so blank, you can. Uh, for me, I guess I'll draw this. I'll draw a uh, four leaf clover. So here is the stem. Draw a little bit of heart right here heart on top and then another heart on the other side perfect doesn't look too bad and then I think um, why don't I draw uh, I guess I could draw a handle on both sides so why don't I do that <laughs> handle here and then a handle on the other side looks weird but um, I wanted to add some detail into this pot uh, but there you go so now let's start with a circle uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to spiral it couple times so let's see how many I can do and what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that's at least maybe an inch or so away from the previous line so I'm gonna go like this go all the way around just like so and I'm gonna stop right there all done now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color things first and then when I'm done coloring I can um, move on to cutting but let me just protect my sketchbook here so let me just put this underneath and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna color the rainbow. Now this does look boring at first, but trust me, it should be a fun project and it should be really cool. Now, um, first of all, we need to find the colors of the rainbow here. So I got red. Actually, no, this might be easier to mark there, I think. Here we go, I got red, orange. Is this good orange? That's a very bad orange. Let me throw that away. Uh, I think that's a good orange. Is this a good orange? Perfect. That's the orange I want. <laughs> Yeah, they'll do. Orange, yellow, and then green, uh, and then blue, then purple. Let's see, let's do that purple. And I think we are good to go. Let's do that purple instead, actually. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do on this circle is I'm gonna color my first layer. So red, I'm gonna go all the way over here. Just color it red, maybe a couple stripes here and there. I'm just gonna completely ignore the circle. I'm just gonna color on top, like that. Next step, I'm gonna go orange. So I'm gonna make sure I'm going in the order of the rainbow. If you need a little bit of help to memorize the order of the rainbow, I can write it on the side of my paper, just so you guys can see. So why don't I just do this one last one real quick, and then why don't I write it on the side here, just for you guys. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, sometimes indigo, and violet. But we won't do this one though. All right, so let's keep going. Let's do yellow next. So I'm gonna try to make sure I'm not ruining this yellow marker. 
by um, going too close to the orange there. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Alright, so let me just add a little more yellow here. There we go. That should be good. Alright, let's do green next. And you'll notice I will probably not be able to finish the whole circle uh, with the rainbow colors here. So what you gotta do is just go back to red again. So here's my green. Looks great. Let's move on to blue. Should look super cool. Blue. And again, this can be done in marker, crayon, color pencil, doesn't matter to me. Should work. All right, so let's do purple now. If we were in school, we would probably do this on a plate and we'd probably paint it instead. So if you were looking for alternatives, um, I could probably link a photo of uh, what it's supposed to look like in different mediums uh, over here somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be on a paper plate and painted, but we're doing the remote way. So this shouldn't look as bad. So let's go back to red since we finished off our rainbow colors. So it just starts over again. All right, there we go. And I think I'm gonna make these a little more thinner because I wanted to see if I can try to um, fit another whole rainbow set here. All right, let's just do maybe two stripes of uh, of orange. And right, that's a fresh orange, so I have to be careful here. I don't ruin my yellow marker. Okay. All right, not too bad. Go to green. So again, as you can see, I am going a little bit thinner uh, with these stripe lines, so I can try to fit um, try to fit it here. All right, that's all done, and finally, purple will probably be my last color to finish it off. And make sure when you're doing this, you can still see the lines that you did earlier with the pencil. If you can't, just go back over with sharpie or a marker. Actually, not. Let me try this. A black marker that way it's still easy to see because this line that I'm tracing right now will be the line that we cut all right so I'm just keep going around and around and until I can finish it off here there so we would start cutting over here obviously all right let's move on to the pot of gold while I have this black out why don't we just try to trace it here just like so. There we are. I think I'm going to trace this part right here real quick. I'm going to trace the four leaf clover in green. Just like that. And then I think I have another green that I want to color it with. It's a lighter green. Should look fairly neat. There you go. And then for the gold on top, I think I might want to outline it in orange first. Just to get that Irish colors in there. And then after I do that, I want to color that all in with yellow. But let me let that orange dry for a little bit. So while I'm letting that dry, let me just color the pot a little bit with some grays. Uh, I would originally do it with just uh, blacks, but um, I think gray would look more interesting for this pot. And it does. So I'm glad I chose this gray. There you go. I am not coloring it fully. Um, I think this kind of sketching style of coloring looks pretty cool. There you go. All right, looking good. I can probably go back to yellow now. The orange is probably dry. And there you go. Glad I waited because it looks like I messed up my marker a little bit, as you can see. <laughs> so sometimes you have to um, be very careful. There's nothing I could do to fix it uh, right now. But uh, you want to be careful when you're coloring with marker with the yellow marker because sometimes people mess it up. All right, so that's that. Looks well, great so far, by the way. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it out of our notebook if it's attached to something. So let's go. And look at that. It did not. Uh, it did not ruin uh, this half of my sketchbook. So I'm gonna put that aside. Put this aside as well. All right. So in order to cut this, let's just create some room for ourselves. So I'm going to. Uh, cut this out so I don't have to ruin it. I'll cut that out better. All right, so let's just cut out this whole circle first. We'll start from there. Okay. So do this first. 
And again, um, if we were in the classroom, uh, this would probably be a plate instead. And with this plate, we'd be painting uh, the rainbow as well. So the paper would be a little more stiff. All right, so now we have a circle in the pot here. Um, I can go either one. I can either cut this one out or I can cut this one out. I'll do the circle. So I'm gonna start from here and just spiral around. So you're gonna have to use your uh, scissor uh, skills to do this as best as you can. So you can see as I'm cutting it, on the bottom there's a tail forming for the uh, rainbow. So just keep going until you reach the end. All right, so I'm almost there. I still gotta go keep going around. It is tedious, I know, but hopefully you guys didn't spiral too much, because if you spiral too much, then um, two things will happen. Number one, your paper will become too weak and it won't hold the pot of gold, it'll break. And number two, it'll be uh, too long and you won't be able to have that nice bounce on your paper. All right, so let me just uh, fold this back properly so I don't ruin the surprise here. Now let me cut out this piece of pot of gold here, nice and proper. And then I'll be done with my coloring supplies and my scissors here. Now the, uh, the gold doesn't have to be cut exactly, but it's always nice to be at least a little neat. All right, that's my next scrap. All right, now we have everything that we need. Uh, so what you do is you can try to hold it from the middle or the end here, and you can kind of see how it dangles like this, which looks really cool by the way, right? So all you gotta do now is either take this side or this side, and then what you can do is that you can glue the uh, pot of gold on one of the ends. So I'm gonna see which one looks better. I'm gonna try to hold it by the tail. Hmm, I think it's gonna look better the other direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure I don't ruin this. I'm gonna take my glue stick. I'm gonna glue right at the end of this right here. I'm gonna make sure that my pot of gold can reach the end here. There we go. You see it's glued on just like that. If it sticks out at the end like that, you can just kind of rip it off. There you go, more scraps. All right, so now uh, you can either puncture a hole or attach a string on the middle end right here, or you can do what I do, because I'm have uh, i in the basement right now, and I have a drop down ceiling. All I can do is just uh, try to tear it a little bit. And I can probably just wedge it somewhere. Let's see, will this work? Let's see. Uh-oh, I'm gonna just try to twist it so you guys can see it better. Uh, can you guys see that? Isn't that cool? This is an awesome project, right? Anyways, here's my pot of gold. I think I might uh, move it a little bit. Let's see, can I go over here? Can you guys see it better like that? Alright. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. This thing looks awesome, by the way. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.